everyone, it's Millie Ioboni here from Raw Beauty Living. And today I'm with Arnold Kaufman. I'm at the Raw Food Capital of the World. Yeah. <laughs> Arnold's way. And I am going to be interviewing Arnold and ask him a series of questions. So Arnold, please tell us about yourself. Uh, yourself. That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably one of the hardest questions I've ever answered. <laughs> Number one, I'm 67 years old. And I'm growing 68, and uh, I feel like I rock all the time. I mean, I'm so exhilarated, happy that I, I can't stand it. And the reason why is that I'm on a mission. My goal is to create an energetic movement for transmission of the disease free world. And I take my job very seriously. We have more success stories in Lansdale than Philadelphia, Washington City, New York City combined. Wow. What I do is every single month, I give out free food to 30 people. I sold almost $10,000 out of my pocket every single month. Almost 600 people have taken a program. This is my goal. Is I change one person, I change 100 people. If I, in two years' time, Lansdale should be a raw food capital of the world, it, which means more bigger than Lansdale, which means I don't believe in disease. I think disease can be handled by raw food diet. And more and more people are doing it. Essentially, it's called morphogenesis. Morphogenesis means uh, based on emu, the monkey in the South Pacific. Emu is a monkey in the South Pacific, about millions of other monkeys. And one day a scientist came to this island and there's not one monkey who's eating uh, sweet potatoes. Not one person in <laughs> Landel didn't wish me when I came there. So anyway, Emu trained this one monkey called Emu. You know, first thing I go to his parents, got permission. You know, I need to borrow your, your child for a second, or all for a few days. And the parents said, okay. <laughs> anyway, Emu went back to his family. But the scientists showed him how to dig for sweet potato, how to eat it, how to wash it. He learned perfectly. I mean, he was the A student. He went back to his brother and sister and told him the same thing. He told them how to uh, eat sweet potatoes. I turned to tell people how to drink sweet potatoes. And they in turn told their friends and their friends and their friends. Soon every month in the whole island they got to eat sweet potatoes. My goal is everyone in the whole world eats drink sweet potatoes. To me, that's the key. Anyway, I'm so, so, I guess I can slow down. But I'm excited about life. I'm excited about what I do. Uh, just yesterday, 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 I was on CNN. Wow. Uh, USA Today. Wow. And uh, HLN. They had me as one of the um, leading um, uh, spokespersons for anti-vaccines. Underneath, underneath the signs that these people should go to jail. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> so, I decided to make my movement even stronger. I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to show videos every single, two videos a day for the next 14 days. I also finished a documentary about uh, vaccinations. Powerful video, and I want to start showing that soon. Congrats. Yeah. I do. But you know why? I have no choice in the matter. You know what I mean? No choice in the matter. I was given authority by a higher power. The higher powers don't don't worry about women, alcohol, <laughs> beer, meat. You have a job to do. There's jobs to get to create world peace. She's How and why did you get into this lifestyle? What? How and why did you get into this lifestyle? How and why did you get into this That's a good question again. <laughs> I like that question. How and why? It actually started in 1972. In 1972, I was walking across the street. I was at a pizza place, I was walking across, I think they're bar or ice cream. Anyway, I was walking across the street, it was actually 12th and Vine. In the middle of the street, someone stopped me. I said, what the heck? <laughs> someone stopped me in the middle of the street. You know what he said? Arnold, you have to be the light for others. And I looked around, I looked around again, and that voice disappeared. I said to the girl over there, her name was Debbie, I can't mention her last name. I said, hey, Deb, do you see that person? She said, no. Wow. So, that, so I would say that was when I was 22, age 45 years old. I thought I was going to die of a heart attack. You know, I just, you know, when, when it, you know, it just didn't, didn't dawn on me, didn't dawn on me what happened. Didn't dawn on me. At age 45, I had a uh, heart attack, and I went to the hospital uh, twice in the emergency room. The second time. The second time I walked out, I just said, uh, this is not for me, I gotta, I gotta leave this place. Because I felt in my heart and soul that I wasn't in a good place. I also felt that I, I needed to do something, but I didn't know what to do. 
I didn't know what to do. To this day, 99% of people of world population do not know what to do. They think they know, they will, most of the time they go to the doctor. I'm saying what I did is I took control of my life and began researching, 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 researching. Because I know what I, what I believe in my heart and soul, what I did created my body to have a heart attack. And what I had to do is find the answers. And I did find the answers. And then about a year and a half later, I decided to open a health food store. And that was one of the side effects. I mean, there's a lot of side effects. But at age 64, I decided to, I remember what happened to me in 1972, I decided that I really had to be the light for others, and I'm, I'm just living. About a year and a half ago, I got really sick at night. I got really sick. I mean, I got totally sick. I was coughing and sneezing. I was like, like, like my guts were coming out. I mean, everything was coming out, coming out, coming out. And someone said to me again, same voice. Or maybe it was actually an older voice. Said, Arnold, you are... You are uh, healing others as you do this. So I'm doing what I'm doing. Good. <laughs> and how, can you please explain your cafe? Tell us about your cafe. Uh, the beginning and the products that you have. Well, what happened was I began by uh, 1992. What's your name? <laughs> 1992, I had a, a, a vending business. And in the vending business, I served you know, coffee, snacks to everyone. And one day I came out of one of my coffees, I served coffee at, I went to eat at Wendy's. So I had a hamburger, french fries, as I normally do. I sat down, I always get a newspaper, always get a photo of the inquiry. But that day, I didn't have a photo of the inquiry, I only had a, had a, um, a daily news. So I said to myself, okay, I'll get a daily news. I reached in to get a daily news. As soon as I reached in to get a daily news, I knew I had to open a health food store. That very instant, <laughs> I knew nothing about health food, nothing about anything. I realized I had to open a health food store. Do you know why? Why? Of course, on the front page of USA Today, I had a picture of David Duke. David Duke was a Ku Klux Klaner, and he said, the Jews are a threat to this country, and I'm Jewish. And I said to David Duke on the newspaper, I said, I'm not on my watch. <laughs> <laughs> I will create energy to stop that energy. I said, the only way to do it is for me to open a health food store. Six, three, months, three months later, I had a health food store. And then about, I would say, about six months later, no, three months later, I would say, and it wasn't a raw, it was just a health food store. I didn't find out about raw until maybe about six or seven years later. At that time, I had a, I had a, big, I had a vegan cafe, and what happened was, I took a course by T.C. Fry to talk about raw food. As soon as I learned about raw food, I stopped the vegan cafe. Done. My business went down about 20, 30%. I was almost on the verge of moving. So when I moved, I got rid of my business. Well, we'll, we'll be here in a second, okay? And the last question Next is, question. what's your mission statement? Create an energetic movement for a transformation of a disease-free world. Love that. I eat. Drink and live that motto day in, day out. Day in. I, sometimes I drive my employees crazy. Because <laughs> I'm on that mission state. You know, I have no choice in that. Right. When someone's sick, that bothers me. If there's war in, in Africa, that bothers me. If there's war in Africa, that, in uh, Russia, that bothers me. I know that by changing the world, we can buy and changing the mentality the way these things. That will stop. Yeah. If someone has cancer, that bothers me. It stops. <laughs> well, that was an interview with Arnold Kaufman at the Raw Food Cap of the World. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Stay tuned for more of these coming soon. Okay, yay. Bye. Okay, hug. Yay. Bye. Bye. Bye.